Oh, what up, what up, what up? This is Toby with Online Security, and we are back with another quick walkthrough. This one is specifically going to be about VMware Fusion. Okay, VMware Fusion. A lot of us, well, not a lot, but some of us are running virtual machines on our MacBooks. If you have the new MacBook that's using the M1 chip, you've probably been running into issues using VMware. So we're going to try to show you a quick solution that you can use to work around that issue, right? Instead of jumping into all the technical details and why the architecture is causing issues between ARM and AMD64 uh, chips, we're just going to get right into the solution, right? Because the technicalities may be a little bit convoluted or better yet confusing for most people just trying to spin up a quick virtual machine. All right, so too easy. What we're going to do is download VMware Fusion, right? If you want, so you do need some type of hypervisor, some type of some type of virtual machine manager to download and install your virtual machines, right? Typically on a Windows operating system, you could use VirtualBox, you could use VMware, on this new MacBook though, right? I'm running a new MacBook right now. VirtualBox is not super compatible with it. VMware, the regular VMware obviously isn't really compatible with it. So what we have to use is another virtual machine manager called VMware Fusion, all right? And I'm trying not to nerd out right now because I want to go into the details of what a virtual machine manager is. Essentially what the virtual machine manager is is what you use to create virtual machine, all right? Now, so what we're going to do on the new macbooks we're going to download vmware fusion i'm already here you just go to google.com and you just search for vmware fusion download this is it right here i have it opened up in another tab it's a pretty straightforward download you go to vmware fusion you may have a a a, a later version right now this shows vmware fusion 13. i believe that's what i have installed on mine you're more than likely going to download the player right you're not going to you could download the pro. I think you get a free trial with it. The player one is, is more for personal use. You can download either or the one that I have downloaded and installed and I am currently using for my virtual machines is the player, right? Fusion 13 player. So go ahead and download it. I don't have to download it again because it's already been downloaded. You go ahead and download it. You may need to pause this video while it's downloading. Go ahead and feel free to do that. However, I'm going to keep on moving along. Sweet, too easy. So VMware Fusion, that's the first thing that we need. Second thing that we need obviously will be the ISO. If you're not familiar, the ISO is going to be the operating system, the guest operating system that the virtual machine is going to use to run. Now, here's another tricky part. <laughs> it may not be tricky for everybody, but on this new MacBook, you can't use any and every ISO to boot up a virtual machine. So what we are using to boot up a virtual machine is this Jammy Desktop ARM64. This is a flavor of Ubuntu, okay? It is a flavor of Ubuntu. This is the Jammy Desktop ARM64, and I'm doing my best right now to not nerd out and explain why we're using this ARM64. I really wanna make this video short and sweet, especially for our students who are trying to spin up virtual machines on their new MacBooks. So this is what we're using. You can try to use the AMD64. You're gonna run into some architecture issues. Your computer's gonna complain. I may even show it to you just for the heck of it. For the heck of nerding out, which I'm trying not to do. But anyway, we're going to download this Jammy Desktop ARM64, right? Just Google that. This is the ISO we want. I'm going to go ahead. I already have it opened up in another tab, right? So you just, you can just click there. So right click and open it up in a new tab. I have it open up in a new tab. You're probably going to come to this screen here. Just scroll down a bit, right? Get past all the other ISOs, all the hash files and look for this Jammy Desktop ARM64.ISO. You don't want the AMD64.ISO if you're using the new MacBook, right? I may try to show you why, but this is the one we want. This is the one that I have downloaded, all right? So too easy. We need VMware Fusion and we need our ISO files. I should already have that. Let me double check. I have the 
I have AMD 64 ISO, which I shouldn't have. I'm going to download the ARM 64 ISO. So you all got lucky. I can nerd out a bit while the ARM one is downloading. So while the ARM one is downloading, let's just see what error we get when we're trying to run the AMD 64 ISO. I have VMware Fusion right here. This is what it looks like. I have no virtual machines created at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and try to create one. Now, let me slow down for you. So to create one, we're just going to hit this plus icon, right? It's too easy. Hit plus. We're going to hit new. And we're going to select this prompt right here that says install from disk or image. Give me a second. Let me check on my download. All right, cool. We're going at a good pace. We're going to select this prompt that says install from disk or image. I just double click it. You can see that I have two ISO files here. I have the ARM64, which is the one we want, right? And we have the AMD64. I'm just going to run the AMD64 so you can see the error message that you may or may not get. So I'm going to run this. I'm just going to select it and hit continue. Right? Go ahead and give it whatever password you want to, whatever display you want to. Hit finish. Save it. And boom, here's the error message. This virtual machine cannot be powered on because it requires x86 machine architecture. Now, this is where I will not nerd out, right? Because this is going to take probably another 15 minutes for me to explain. Now, we're just going to hit OK. And I'm going to X that out, right? We don't want to use this AMD 64. So I'm going to delete that so there is no confusion. We want to use the ARM 64. I'm going to delete this guy too. We want to use the ARM64 ISO to create our virtual machine. So let's go ahead and create this virtual machine one more time. It could not give VM files. That's fine. I'll delete it later. All right. So we're going to hit this plus button one more time. We're going to hit new. We are using VMware to create our virtual machine. VMware Fusion is our virtual machine manager. You need a virtual machine manager on your laptop to create VMs. Okay. So we hit new. We're going to select install from disk or image. Select continue. We're going to select this arm64.isl, the same way we download it from the Ubuntu website. We're going to select continue. We're going to select finish. You can leave default settings. You can go ahead and customize the settings if you want to, right? You can add more memory, add more cores, whatever makes you feel better or whatever you need to operate your virtual machine. And I'm going to save that, right? And now Ubuntu is just going to ask, how we want to start it up. I'm just going to select the first option, right? You have to click into this screen first and then hit the enter key. Now Ubuntu is going to attempt to start up. If we run into any issues, the issues will scream at us right here on the screen. If we don't run into any issues, it should successfully boot to this desktop that we are looking at. This is too easy, right? We can ignore this especially if you're just using this for testing purposes, but that is it y'all. This is how, this is a, a workaround. I'm pretty sure there are other workarounds, other alternatives to creating your virtual machines on this new MacBook. If you like this video, please don't forget to smash that like button, leave a comment, let us know how we did. Let us know if you have any questions and I'm looking forward to learning with you in other videos. Peace.